Good morning. Woo! Look at that guy. Friday. <laughs> what are you doing? You're on vacation. I know. That's why I'm here. This is vacation. Yeah. This is vacation, huh? Yeah. Well, good. I get to good. go on vacation and I get to do this. All right. Doesn't get any better than that. You're going well? Going very well. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Coming home, right? I'm sorry? Coming home, right? I am. I am <laughs> coming home. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ohio is better than Michigan. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, should I have said that? <laughs> <laughs> there here, let me let me fix it. There's no place like home. Oh, okay. So, so it's R Stiver at <laughs> <laughs> Changing church. <laughs> My life changing church, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me all correspondence. There you go. There you go. <laughs> We're talking about that kind of stuff today. About, yeah. What? <laughs> See, we're talking about that. Uh, the title of mine says Herod kills John the Baptist. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hopefully, nobody will kill me. That's where you're going, huh? Okay. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. All right. All right. All right. I'm like, are you at the same place I'm at? <laughs> That's why I was a little confused too. Oh my god! All right, well let's go. Let's see what you have to say then. <laughs> let's see let's what, do it. See what I this, get to read. I get to read, right? Yeah. Let's see what this has sure. to do with what you said. Okay. Here we go. Uh, New Living Translation, Matthew 14, chat or verse one. Here we go. When Herod Antipas heard about Jesus, he said to his advisors, this must be John the Baptist come back to life again. That is why he can do such miracles. For Herod was a, for Herod had arrested and imprisoned, imprisoned John as a favor to his wife Herodias, the former wife of Herod's brother Philip. John kept telling Herod, it is illegal for you to marry her. Herod would have executed John, but he was afraid of a riot because of the people's people believed John was a prophet. But a birthday party for Herod, Herodias' daughter, performed a dance that greatly pleased him. So he promised with an oath to give her anything she wanted. At her mother's urging, the girl asked, I want the head of John the Baptist on a tray. The king was sorry, but he, but because of his oath and because he didn't want to back down in front of his guests, he issued the necessary orders. So John was beheaded in the prison and his head was brought on a tray and given to the girl who took it to her mother. John's disciples came for his body and buried it. Then they told Jesus what had happened. And people think the Bible's boring. Wow. <laughs> There's oh. a few problematic things in that, right? <laughs> My word. That's some tough stuff there. Yeah. All right. All right. So 1413. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They're just, there is just some weird things in there. Yeah. All right. Hmm. I mean, the, the I don't know if this is supposed to show us an example of what it's like to not have Jesus or what. Yeah, yeah. he Herod's he's he's quite strange here. He, uh, I mean, this this uh, boy, I don't I don't even want to say repeat what was written there. <laughs> yeah. So just an interesting thing. Um, uh, Herod was the son of Herod the Great, who had killed the babies back when um, when Jesus was a baby and and killed all all the babies back in Bethlehem so here we go kind yep. of the same type of thing going on a lot of murdering going on looks like well I wonder I wonder if this has anything and I'm probably stretching it here but I'm I'm looking back not too long ago we we read the parable of the seeds. And, it, and how they fall on different ground. And I'm, I'm supposing he had to hear the teachings of Jesus and kind of that whole same thing that the seeds were sown. And but this obviously 
Jesus' teaching or seeds didn't fall on good ground here. Right. I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't think there's a connection there, but that's, I'm thinking, wow, this is, there's stuff going on here, and you, know, you, it's surprising to me because Herod is is this ruler and this leader, and yet if you if you look in there, he's so working under the fear of man. Yeah. I mean, he he promised his daughter this. And then when she asked for that, it said the king was distressed, and then like he didn't want to do it, but yet he did it because he didn't want to be embarrassed. Ah, yeah. yeah. Not that, never mind. I'm not going there. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We better just move on on that one. Talking about embarrassment. We'll just keep moving on. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, this this going to be cool. Jesus feeds the 5,000. Here we this go. Is, this is good. As soon as Jesus heard the news, he went off by himself in a boat to a remote area to be alone. But the crowds heard where he had, where he was headed and followed by land from many vill villages. A vast crowd was there as he stepped from the boat, and he had compassion on them, and he healed their sick. Hmm. Keep going. That uh, evening. I, oh. Yeah, I do want to. I do want to stop because yeah, I think yeah. that. I think this. I think it is important um, to. I. So I don't know. I mean, for me, I, I look at. I, I I look at what obviously what has just taken place, in, as weird as a lot of that, that is, how what that the impact that that has on Jesus in this moment, right, and, and I think. Um, when we begin to start talking about the compassion. That he had on them you know and, and i don't know if it, it, it must maybe it's in a different um uh, in a different uh or different book but the idea that he was moved to compassion because they were sheep without a shepherd i don't maybe that's a completely different one i don't know if that is or not but but that compassion came from the fact that they're they're lost and one of their one of their shepherds that that, that was there trying to lead them through out of the wilderness and into into uh, the coming of the Lord, like he's gone, he's just been just been taken from them, and so that that compassion has a whole nother. For me, I, I see it in a whole different level in a whole different way now with that too. Just the idea that that comes from this place of of Jesus is mourning in that moment. Oh, that's good. Not just not just for the condition of the people, but also the the fact that you know uh, one of his his brothers yeah. brothers in arms is is gone. Hmm. Uh, it, in, it down here in my study Bible, it just it says Jesus was a loving, caring, and, and feeling person. And then it says, when you are suffering, remember that Jesus hurts with you. Yeah. Which that 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 could very well be. That's you know he's you know they they could be in a in a stage of mourning there, in, in grief. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I just always. I always like, you know, John 9 was that other one we read before um, where it just says he was moved by compassion. And that yeah. one, like you said, says because he saw them like sheep without a shepherd. He saw their condition. Yeah. You know, Jesus is always looking way past the outward. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's like, you know, I just I just want to be there where I'm, I'm not tripped up by people's outward appearance and I can. I can have compassion for them because of the situation or because of, you know, especially their spiritual condition and all that. You know, I think that with the time we're living in, that needs to happen for us. Yeah. I mean, we, we need to be moved by compassion because because of the, the spiritual condition of our nation. Mm. I'm uh, I, I'm just thinking of the news when he heard the news. I mean, Jesus had described uh, John the Baptist as one of the greatest men who had ever lived, and um, and now he's he's been he's been killed. He's he's been beheaded, and and he just wants to be by himself. Um, you know, I I'm just wondering. I mean, just he was suffering because of that. I mean that that had to just tear his heart out just that this happened and and um but life goes on and here the crowd is i mean they're 
do they even know? I mean, I, I don't know if they know what has taken place. I, I'm going to guess if they had known, they would have said, you know, let's just give him some, some time here. Uh, but there were still needs. There were still things that needed to be done. And I feel like he would say, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to be about my, uh, Mark Tingle has, has said this many times. I'm going to be about my father's business. Yeah. And, uh, Tough stuff. Wow. Oh, I, hey, you, I don't remember what, even what it was, but the other day you just, you referred to something similar to that, just the humanity of Jesus. Mm, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember what it was now that we were talking about, but here again, yeah. he's by compassion. And, and I, you know, I've read this many times, honestly, I don't remember reading that whole other part about Herod. I must have <laughs> skipped through it. And so I obviously have never put them together. Uh, of why he why he possibly could have been moved by compassion with you know I mean when Jesus heard what had happened he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place so like you said he was he was obviously upset about that it's hurting yeah yeah made him real for sure so <laughs> so here this could this could get us in trouble but you know, I don't know how many times I've been asked, why didn't so-and-so get healed? And why didn't so-and-so get healed? Here, yeah. why didn't John the Baptist get healed? Yeah. Because it, it said, then it says that he was moved by compassion on them and healed the sick. You know, uh, there's no answer. Yeah. I shouldn't have brought it up because we don't have an answer for that. <laughs> well... And did did somebody walk up and say, well, just heard about John the Baptist. Why didn't you save him? Yeah. I mean, did somebody throw that in his face? Who yeah. knows? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's a, I, I didn't put that together. Like I said, I would always start right there and read about this section sure. and never sure. even thought about those words that says that he, he, when he heard what had just happened. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, moving on. Sure. Yeah. Let's let's say anything else. Nothing good. All right. Verse 15. That evening the disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place, and it is getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus replied, That isn't necessary. You feed them. Impossible! <laughs> exclamation point. They exclaimed. We have only five loaves of bread and two fish. Bring them here, he said. Then he told the people to sit down on the grass, and he took five loaves and two fish, looked up toward heaven, and asked God's blessing on the food. Breaking the loaves into pieces, he gave some of the bread and the fish to each disciple, and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate as much as they wanted and they picked up 12 baskets of leftovers. About 5,000 men had eaten from those five loaves, in addition to all the women and children. Miracle time. Yeah. Uh, what, I think is, what I think is really interesting in this, too, and, I, and this, is, this is just people altogether, is the fact that, you know, here they are. It's, this is impossible. It's impossible to feed them all. You just, you just, it just said he had compassion on them and he healed their, healed their sick. He, he calmed the waters. He, there was miracle upon miracle teachings that were blowing them away. Tell, basically telling them, basically telling them who he is for the most part <laughs> without really telling them. And yet it's impossible. Here again. It's, it's, yeah, it's it. I mean, that that's just the, that's once again that's that's the human nature, you know. That's why you know. I mean, you you saw it with the Israelites in the wilderness. God would a miracle upon miracle was His very presence was right there, and yet they complained and was like, "Oh, it'd be better for me for us to be back in Egypt," you know. And, and so, I mean, so. And we find ourselves there all the time, I think, yeah, you know? All the time. All the time. Fidgety. You ever heard that word? Fidgety, yeah. 
for sure that's scriptural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, when, when I read this stuff, I, I always try to get there, um, try to visualize. And the thing that just I love, Jesus is always teaching something about everything. I mean, he, yeah. uses, he uses this. You know, these guys are going, hey, send them away. It's late. Send them into town to get something to eat. And, uh, and Jesus is like, no, they don't have to go away. Yeah. You feed them. And so I, I love that thought because he knows that if they would rely on him, they can feed them. Yeah. But he throws it up there. He goes, go ahead. You, you give them something to eat. Like, just kind of like, okay, I'm going to wait and see here. Right. Right. Uh, you know, where's your faith at kind of deal? Where, yeah. Where's your faith? I mean, you're, here you stand with Jesus <laughs> as, as you reverberate that, you know, don't you realize you're here with me? But yet, I like that he said, now you do it instead of him just doing it. He could have done it. Yeah. And, and he goes, no, you, you, you feed them. You feed them. And I think, you know, this is where, um, you know, the, G, first of all, I think it's really cool because Jesus used the disciples to feed all these people. And I think he wants to use us to to feed people, whether it's spiritually or physically, that he wants to use us. And, and I, I don't know if that was the whole purpose here, but that's that's exactly what happened is Jesus uses them to, to do a part of the, this miracle. Right. Well, and their response is impossible. <laughs> and I, I think, you know, I. What, what was his reaction to their response? Like, oh, God, come on. Uh, so he says, bring him here, bring, bring him here, I, you know, and he blesses it and, and all of this takes place, wow. Well, and I just think, so just thinking about all, about what's, what's taking place here, what's still yet to come in this, ne these next, this next bit of time, we see, we see where here we have we Jesus is is, is gone and he's he's given all these parables. The kingdom of heaven is like this. King, this is what it looks like. 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 And then now, now we're now we come up to a great obstacle. And what it would you know that, that opportunity of what's your response going to be in all of this? You know that's the testing of faith is taking place right now, right and. Uh, it continues on. I mean, this is just a portion of it, but that's that, that testing of where's your where is your faith at and all of this. But what, what, one of the cool things about that, what you're just saying, Nate, is he didn't he didn't throw in the towel and say, OK, uh, go ahead. I mean, people go. No, he said, bring him here. Let me show <laughs> you one more miracle. Let me let me show you. And and they were involved in that miracle. I mean, they were hands on involved yeah. in that miracle. Yeah. So they couldn't refute it. I mean, they didn't say, well, I think this happened. I mean, they were they were part of it. And then when all these baskets were brought in afterwards, I'm just thinking he's going. I mean, he didn't say, see, I told you uh, okay. that they had to be going. I wonder what their response was after that. It just had to be crazy. When I think about all those those times, like when when uh, Jesus washed their feet, and because nobody, the tradition was that somebody would do that. The culture would somebody would stand at the door and do that, and then here Jesus does it, and they're probably thinking, "Man, I should have done that. Doggone it! Why didn't I do that?" And and here's another time where after they saw this, they probably thought. Why did why didn't why didn't we just not hey here's a here's a chance for a miracle you know they're probably like I missed it again you know we're right. tell, we're we're wanting to tell all these people go home it's too late and sure. yet Jesus does this big miracle and they're like here here I could have here I could have done it I could have I could have just went up and said no let's we only have we only have two two fish and five loaves let's see let's see what you can do with this well. So what what I what I see and what's taking place in this too, at least this is in my own mind, <laughs> what's taking place is that obviously Jesus came for the entire world, but what this experience is is for those that are closest to Him. Yeah. What the the journey that they're going on in all of this, that that these these years that they get with Jesus, this time that they have with Jesus, what a journey this is of the 
of here it is and let me give you a little bit of this and watch this and I'll, let's see what you do with that you, you kind of it kind of just continues to go that way here and then when it when they when the faith doesn't their faith doesn't live up to where where it needs to be jesus says okay well all right let me let me bring you back in let's talk about this here's some more teaching here's some more teaching here here's some here's some I'll, I'll sprinkle some miracles in here all right let's see let's see some of this so you can see kind of see who i am all right let's test let's see where your faith is at now and, and come up to come up against something and see where they're at and it's the journey that we all need to, that we all go on it's a journey that we should be taking others on it's just this idea of of here is jesus truly discipling his disciples right and this is the blueprint of what it should look like for us too as we're walking with this through other people with other people like here this is what he's saying this is Look at what's what's that. Come here, watch this. Take, be a part of this. Get your hands on this. All right, let's see what you do with it now. You know. Okay, That's, let's talk about it. Uh, that that makes me see that differently. And I'm looking in here. <laughs> I I just always assumed that this whole crowd saw the miracle. It doesn't sure. say that they did. I mean, right. they. How, I'm assuming the people, the the crowd, didn't even know that they only had. Uh, two fish and five loaves. And then, can you imagine that there's this huge crowd? They probably, Jesus told the disciples, they bring that here. Bring, so I can see them, as you're saying, those 12 coming around him, and, and they're standing there, and he takes these, these two fish and five loaves, and, uh, and he says to all the people, he directed them to sit down in the grass and taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking to heaven. Well, maybe they did see, I don't know. He gave thanks and broke the loaves, and then he gave it to the to the disciples, and they went out. I mean, the disciples are going out, and they're handing out this food, and they just keep handing it out and handing it out and handing it out. And so, so you know, they they did experience that. Those as he's teaching them, that's that's a great point, Nate. And that, and maybe these people are all sitting there like, I didn't think of their these guys are just walking around handing out fish and bread. Right. Sure, sure. I'm glad I got some and. You know, and so the disciples, could you imagine the disciples? I mean, they're digging down in their basket. And it just won't end. Yeah. That, just, that's, it, just will yeah. Not, it just will not end. So some words that come to my mind are, uh, by my hand, feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. feed my, I, I know you don't know how that's going to happen. I, I get it that you don't have it figured out, but feed my sheep. I know you don't know anything, but feed my sheep. I, I know, I know you got to go to work in the morning, but feed my sheep, feed my sheep. That's what I keep that, that, that's going over in my head. And uh, we don't have it figured out, but he does. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So I, I'm thinking about, Byron, you're talking about just how there is everybody seeing this. And I just had this visual of like, you know, you know, those times where you have something set up to go and then like all of a sudden something happens, right? And you're like, oh man, what's what are we gonna do about this? And you kind of like, like, hey, hey Jesus, hey Jesus, we need to talk to you real quick. I don't know how we're gonna feed these people. <laughs> I mean, all we got we got this kid right here. He's got he's got five loaves of bread and two fit or whatever it is. <laughs> I mean, mix those up. But he's got this. That's all we got. What are we gonna do with that? <laughs> Come here, guys. Yeah. Watch yeah. this. <laughs> Yeah I, yeah, I can imagine they're on the edge of their seat. You know, <laughs> he, he tells all the people to sit down, and he's like, "Dude, does this say how many were there? Does this one tell how many?" Well, mine mine says um, there could have been ten to there could have been ten to fifteen thousand, counting the women and children. Yeah, because it says that all it just refers to five thousand men, and then it says besides women and children. Yeah. So yeah. For, there's 10,000 people there. <laughs> so, 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 uh, and again, I, I love to put myself in their shoes. Just think my, my basket, whatever kind of basket they were and they're keep, they're handing it out or letting the people reach in and get it. And I mean, think how long it would take to feed that many, but I'm telling you, I believe that they would be, they would not have gotten tired. They would, Hey, cut, I'm, I'm going to give you more. <laughs> And, and it just continued to multiply and multiply. I, I just believe they had to be excited for every every bit of time that they spent doing that. Wow. wow. Hey, where did they come up with 12 baskets? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. Did each be carrying a basket that day? Um, I, I might. Jesus, be... They got three pre pieces of straw, but we have no, we have no baskets. <laughs> Uh, well, I, you know, there's a, there's, I have written on the side of my Bible here in this section, you know, bless others and God will bless you because they're, they're feeding the people. And yet when they get all done, they still collect 12 basketfuls, uh, you know, presuming for them. I don't, I don't know. It didn't say really what they did with it, but you know, I, that, I don't know if that's reading into it too much, but you know, that's, it's true that when you, when you, when you uh, serve people, or you uh, you know, are you doing that? That that comes back onto you. Yeah, that seems. Yeah, I mean, I spiritual what, food too. Yeah, I wonder what Jesus was doing during this time. Was he just sitting there smiling? And going, <laughs> I, I know, I know. They were probably. I know, I know. I, I, it's just. <laughs> I mean, you you literally can't wrap your mind around that. Cause no I, way. I mean, have you ever been somewhere where there was even 10,000 people? Yeah, I've been, yeah. A, a football uh, game? Arena. Arena? Yeah. 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 That's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I mean, when you, you think about these crowds that were following him, you don't ever think there was 10,000. Yeah. No, no wonder they couldn't get into the house and had to tear a hole in the roof. Because right. <laughs> wherever he went, there were a boatload of people. Yeah. Well, several hundred boatloads. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Actually, it just said Jesus was in the boat. They were walking, it said. Correct. Correct. Wow. Amazing. It, it's things like that that you you can't just read through that you need to you need to put it in perspective of what he yeah. just did and Nate, i love i love how you pointed out that I, again i'm assuming that all ten thousand couldn't have seen that miracle they had no all of a sudden there's a guy just walking around handing out bread and you know just like just like you you know you're at the football game you see one guy going popcorn popcorn you don't see everybody else Right. And right. so that was really a miracle for those 12. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, probably more of a miracle for that, for the 12 than the uh, 500,000 well, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what, I mean, that's what I was, what I'm saying with that. The journey is this, is that, because what does he conclude with? What, what, in, in this, what, what is, what is, where is, where does, uh, where does Matthew leave, leave us all? Great commission. He, he leaves us with a great commission, right? Ah, uh, yes. At the very end, he leaves with a great commission. So yeah. that idea that this is this journey for, I mean, sure, every so many different people are impacted. There's ten thousand. There's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people that are being impacted at that point. But what Jesus is trying to get to is like this. This I need you to know. I need you to know this. You need to experience this. If they get that, that's fantastic. But I need you. I need you to get this so that when you go out. When you go out, you will see far greater things take place. Mm. You know, so. Good point. Good. Good. That's good. good point. See, we, uh, we, 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 can't, we can't go on. We can't go past this. <laughs> we got to stop now. <laughs> we do. Well, we don't have to stop now, but we can't move on to Jesus walking right. yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. See, again, and we've said this over and over, this is what's so good to go you know, line by line, looking at this, because I've just pulled out some stuff that I've never thought of on. The, and I mean, I've heard that. I've heard that many a times. I've read that many a times. Yeah. Just the, you know, I, I'm just thinking the whole 10,000 people are like, oh, look at that. And there's no way that could have happened. Yeah. Well, maybe you could. <laughs> they have a Jumbotron. <laughs> Jumbotron, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, he's awesome. I love it. Yeah. And his wisdom on teaching them was incredible. Yeah. His, his wisdom to teach everybody was always incredible how he did it. Yeah. So, so, so awesome. Not a wasted, not a wasted moment, not a wasted uh, experience. You know, many times you'd look at that and go, ah. you know, I mean, we probably have all been experiences where we're just like, we just 
we'll cash that in. But Jesus turned it into like, listen, no, man, I want you to know that something, there's something really cool that's about ready to take place. You just need to hold on to your faith. And so we just yeah. need to hold on. To our faith. <laughs> yeah. That was, well, that's cool. I'm pumped. It is. <laughs> I'm going to go eat some fish and loaves. <laughs> Me too. I'm not. So. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> all right well man that was good stuff guys yeah, good, yeah. good yeah. stuff i'm gonna let you guys pray today okay which one you want me i'll start it all right i'll finish it okay. well father thank you so much for this time lord thank you so much for uh who you are lord that you would uh you would allow us just to uh just to spend this time and just to just to begin to understand truly who you are. Thank you for your word that has been preserved for us to just to just to take upon what 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 you're trying to the things that you're trying to to get across to us, Lord, that we would be able to just take this out and not just and and just talk about it, but implement it in our lives, Lord, that we would we would take these words of Jesus, these experiences that that he had, the things that he he brought his disciples through, Lord, that we would we would we would utilize that in our own life. And so, Lord, I thank you so much for, I thank you so much for for this time, Lord. What a great revelation that took place in in this, and we are so honored that we get to be a part of that. And Lord, I pray for each and every one of us, Lord, that we would uh, that we would not take take this lightly, Lord. That we would uh, we would know that regardless of the circumstances that we may come across, Lord, you are creative. You are a creative God, and we just we want to honor you with with trusting you and knowing that you will do creative things. And uh, Lord, we just we, our my prayer would be that we would uh, walk out of today ready for ready to face our day, ready to find opportunity to to share about the goodness of who you are, not just in in word, but in our actions and, and how we would carry ourselves. And we would allow you to just to do what you do. So, Lord, thank you so much for uh, for everything that's taken place and everything that is still yet to happen. We uh, we praise you. We thank you in Jesus name. Yes, Father, Father uh, the three of us get to do this we get as as pastor byron just spoke uh it's great just breaking these uh these verses down uh each and every word and and we continue to uh, uh gain knowledge because of it I, I i love discussing uh scripture with these two men and uh lord god we we just thank you for uh, the freedom that we have to do such a thing and Lord God, I, I, I come to you, we come to you, uh, praying for this nation. A very, very important moment is coming up very, very quickly. And we'll continue to petition you and ask you, Lord God, uh, for guidance and direction on the leadership of this country. And uh, the leadership that will be put into place will affect the entire world. And we know that. We know how important it is. And uh, we pray your will be done, Father. And uh, we just thank you for the freedom that we have, this country that we live in. And uh, we just ask that you would continue to bless us and watch over us. Give us guidance and direction, Lord. And uh, thank you for miracles, Father. May you continue to create miracles in us and in many. Uh, a miracle for this nation, Father. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I think that's a good sentence to end on. Rely on Jesus with what you have. Mm. Yeah. So many times, Very. well, we don't we don't have enough. Rely on Him with what you have, whatever whatever circumstance that is. Yeah. He, he is enough. That's for sure. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Good to Good see you, you guys. It was fun. Yeah. Have a great weekend, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Have sir. a great weekend. Yes, sir. Well, see you guys. Stay yeah. cool.